Hey guys, welcome to Glen Ness Cow Emporium. Today we are going Christmas tree hunting. It is an old time family tradition in my family. My mom's side of the family, I remember when I was a young person, check out this beautiful frost, hey? When I was a young person, we would go out and we would Christmas tree hunt. And what's that mean anyway? Well, the whole family would get together, all of my mom's siblings and their children, and we would all head back west. This is a long time before I knew Glen. And we would go out to Crown Land, government-owned land, with our tree permits and our hot dogs and our hot chocolate. And we would look for what we thought was the perfect Christmas tree. Um, sometimes the kids got to help pick it. <laughs> Most of the time it was the adults, not gonna lie. <laughs> And uh, it was a thing, and it was so much fun. So this year, we are going back west, not to the summer pasture. We do have a couple of uh, spruce trees back there, but one is ginormous. It's probably almost one and a half times the height of our home. And uh, the other ones are really tiny. So you can see we have a beautiful one right there. Not gonna happen. <laughs> so we're going out, and I'll take you guys along. Here we go. What are your favorite memories of going Christmas tree hunting? Tanner? Campfire. Glenn? Hot chocolate. Corp? Same. Hot chocolate. <laughs> Was there a particular favorite year that you guys can remember? It was fun when we were in Cambridge and we were in the camp kitchen one time. Oh yeah, and the kids were all so little. Yeah. Aww. Also, I don't know, five years ago, I think, was the last time? No, maybe. We did one more since then. We went to Christmas tree hunting five years ago with my dad and my brother's family and some friends of theirs. It was really a good time. Here we go. We have to make one stop on the way, though. with an extra shot and an apple fritter. Oh, sorry. Oh, heard you need a latte with an extra shot? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And an apple fritter. Apple fritter. Do you have a polar bear donut? Yes, I do. I want a large double double. Large double double. And a medium hot chocolate. Medium hot chocolate? Yep. Okay. And that's everything. How does that look on your screen? Uh, looks good to me. Hi, okay. I have a gift card. Right next to what? Right next to the tree. <laughs> We're parked right next to the tree in case we get lost. Okay. Here we go. Ideally, we'd find like a little clearing or something that has a. I guess this is one of the perks of living in Alberta. Beautiful. We're Christmas tree hunting today on the top of the Porcupine Hills. Yeah, 
Okay. This one or that one, Corbin? This one. That one's kind of ugly. That one's got a crooked trunk. What do you think, Tanner? I'm not sure. This Christmas tree hunting business is hard. What about that one that's behind there? Give it a shake. It's really big. It's really big. Yeah. Okay. We're better off with something for that size. It's not a picture. It's a video. What do you want then? Come. <laughs> Well, we've got our tree. As always, we looked at about 100 trees. So we'll see. Get this tree home. Let it melt off in the garage for a little bit. Then we'll throw it in the tree stand. Give it some decorations. What do you think? We did a good job? Thumbs up from the boss. Okay, here we go. Back in the truck. We didn't bring anything to eat this time. Maybe we'll do that on the way home. Such a ding dong. <laughs> oh, good job, Glenn. It's crooked. Oh. It's actually, it's not crooked. It's just smiling down at us. <laughs> <laughs>